Now everybody loves a top 10 list and in this video I look at the 10 largest traded commodities in the world but I break that down further into two lists for you. I give you the actual largest traded commodities in the world and because this channel is all about trading we want to know what ones we can actually trade. I'll give you a second list then and that is the commodities, the largest ones that you could actually really trade. Hello, I'm Stephen Hode, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. So let's crack on with our top 10s and first up is the list of the top 10 most traded commodities around the world. Now this includes all exchanges where you could trade futures and options and that includes countries like China, uh, Singapore, yeah, in Indonesia, US, Europe, Russia, it covers everything and that gives us a very different list as you'll see shortly to the ones you can actually probably trade um, as a retail trader. So let's get on with it and first up in 10th place is WTI crude oil traded on NYMEX in the US. We all know about crude oil but at number nine we have iron ore and that is traded in China on what is known as the Dalian Commodity Exchange. 284 million contracts of futures and options in 2020. At number eight we have something called RBD Palm Oil Futures and that again is traded on the Dalian Commodity Exchange with 315 million contracts traded in 2020. Now at number seven we have something called PTA Futures traded on the Zhengzhou Commodity Exchange in China and that PTA stands for Pure Terapathalic Acid an un probably unheard of contract outside in the normal world but one of the biggest trading 322 million contracts and then quickly following that at number six is another commodity from the Zhengzhou Commodity Exchange and that is methanol futures trading a whopping 344 million contracts at five we have silver futures and these are the silver futures traded on the Shanghai Futures Exchange with 357 million contracts traded. And at number four we've got soya bean meal futures again traded on the Dalian Commodity Exchange. And then we move into our top three and we then at number three have a metal and it's steel and that is steel rebar futures traded on the Shanghai Futures Exchange trading a large 366 million contracts in 2020. Now our top two uh, traded commodities are both energy based and at number two it's fuel oil futures traded on the Shanghai Futures Exchange 477 million contracts in 2020 and at number one is Brent oil futures now there was a staggering 743 million contracts traded on the Moscow exchange alone and that's not even included in that number what was traded on the popular ice exchange and that was roughly around 230 million contracts so at number one is Brent oil futures so let's move on to our second list and that is the ones that you can really trade as retail traders and the commodity world outside of China is really US based there are you know big contracts traded in Europe we have things like the LME metals exchange but the real hub of commodity trading in the rest of the world is the US so I'm going to give you here the 10 largest US exchange based traded commodities in 2020. So let's crack on and run through the top 10. So at number 10 we have silver, 
Then at number nine, we have soybean oil. At eight, we have copper. At seven, we have wheat. At six, we have sugar. Number 11 contract, that is. At five, we have soybeans. And then we move on to another agricultural product. At number four, corn. And then our top three are dominated by energy products. At number three, we have nat gas. And at number two, we have Brent crude oil. And just in front of Brent crude oil at number one is WTI crude oil. So two great lists there for any budding commodity traders out there. And that second list, the liquid US commodity, is very important if you want to trade in the world of commodities. Liquidity, getting in and out of your trade, essential if you don't want big slippage and unwanted surprises. Now let me know in the comments below if you trade any of those commodities or if you trade any that aren't on the list. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give us the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notifications of any future content I produce. But all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video.